This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for joining us for this News 4 Alexa update. I'm Taylor Holt, and here are the top stories making news this hour. St. Louis County Police arrested three teenagers in connection with the killing of a 17-year-old near Florissant. Police identified the victim as Jaden McLean. Officers say they responded to a call for a shooting just before 10 o'clock Friday night. They found the victim along High Sun Drive suffering from gunshot wounds. He died a short time later at the hospital. Police say they arrested teenagers 15, 16, 16 and 17 years old. Today is the Purina Pet Parade. It steps off at 1 o'clock. That's going to be at 12th and Allen. And you can join the thousands of costume dogs and their owners for just $10 per pet. That money goes to the Open Door Animal Sanctuary. And if you're looking for somewhere to watch the Super Bowl today, there are plenty of watch parties in our area. Live by Lowe's is hosting a watch party from 3 until 9 today. You can also stop by Top Shelf Bar and Grill from 5 until 11. And Big Daddies and Soulard also getting in on the action. Their party starts at 5.30 tonight. And now let's check in with First Alert meteorologist Leah Hill with an update on our Super Bowl forecast. It's a touchdown forecast. Temperatures warming today. We're going to be in the 50s, and that's after the cold start we had in the 20s today. We rise to the 50s by noon at 2 o'clock. We're at 56. High temperature near 57, so a great day for the outdoors. Of course, when that game starts, it's going to be bringing you inside. So for your tailgating or watch party forecast, 55 degrees before the game starts, and then by halftime, temperatures will be sitting in the upper 40s. Rain chances return, unfortunately, for Valentine's Day. We'll have some showers present in the afternoon, lasting through at least the early evening. It does look to clear as you're heading home from those dinner plans, but I wouldn't go out to dinner or go out to any events without having some rain gear. Wednesday is going to be warm than Wednesday night. We're looking at more showers and even a couple thunderstorms are possible to the south as a dynamic system moves through. So we're going to be seeing widespread rain here, but up to the north behind this system, they are going to be getting some snow. We're not seeing that in our forecast. We will, however, get that colder air later this week. So we have a couple of very mild days ahead. And then Thursday is the big transition day. We have breezy conditions. We have the rain. We have the storms in the morning. Falling temperatures in the afternoon, a cold day on Friday, and then we warm up for next weekend.